welcome back to my YouTube channel. I got off early. Um, I wanted to go ahead and hop in the shower and get myself ready with you guys. So I will be doing a, a brow tutorial because honestly, that's all I do when I go to class. Like I'm gonna touch my hair up and probably like get it, get in it with a flat iron and detangle it or whatever. So stay tuned because we are about to get right, right, right into it all right y'all so i'm back um we want to start off with the hair first because wait let me take my scarf off we're going to start off with the wig first so this is what look at this oh who the whole thing is lifting so y'all about to get the full effect of what i have to do or what you should do when your wig is lifting but other than the wig lifting the hair looks great still This hair looks great. I'm going to look at that. Let's zoom. Can I zoom in? Mm, it's ready to pretty much come up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it on for this week. But baby, listen. All right, y'all. So this is how it's looking. Crazy. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just realign it. Like this is like... This is what you do if you went out to the club and y'all didn't um, listen to your hairstylist who told you to let that glue dry 24 to 48 to 72 hours. You feel me? Like, this is what you do. Because I've been sweating. I'm on my dot. My body temperature has increased um, releasing right now. So, it's understandable. I'm going to just move quick. Y'all see my brace up under here. I'm going to spray this whole bad boy along. So as y'all can see, I don't have, none of my lace is on. So we about to do a little magic. A little magic. Uh, and just line it back up. I try not to push like the hairs down with that. Just try to get that lace. But hey, sometimes you feel me. You got to do the full shebang. So now this is how it looks, y'all. I want it to stay like this. I wish I could just, uh, let me move quick. Next, you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna get your elastic band. And these elastic bands, be careful with them because they will cut off the circulation. Like, listen, it is not a scarf, it's an elastic band. I mean, it's gonna get up on there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on up until I'm done with my eyebrows. That's just giving it a little time to, you know, just really sit. And this is also a good way to do like a glueless install too, because quite frankly, I don't have to worry about glue or none of that. So we're gonna quickly just go in and start to flat iron my hair. And take it from there. So, um, I didn't list the name of products, y'all. Please forgive me. The more I get into the habit of doing these videos and, like, actually making a tutorial, I will be able to, um, you know, let y'all know as I'm going. But I'll go ahead and tell y'all now. Really... This has got to be glue spray and an elastic band. Um, for the baby hairs, when we, if we do get to it, because I don't know if we're going to have enough time, I might have to make that another video. I'm going to try to, though. Um, I'm going to use these three. And it's just going to be something quick. I might do all of four baby hairs because I don't have time. Uh, and just go from there because I don't know what time it is. My watch is dead. So it's 4.52. Um, I usually leave the house around like 5.15ish, so we'll see. Let's see what we can do. So my flat iron is pretty hot. Y'all, I'm not about to, um, I don't even think I brought a comb. I'm not about to do no super, like, detailed flat iron, simply because, you know, it ain't no need to. I had already gave it a silk press and I'm just touching it up like 
that's all I'm doing is touching it up but anyways so I am grateful that y'all have came back to see yet another video um I do plan on I got a lot of things you feel me that I'm into I think my like I told y'all before in the last one like my main videos it will be um based off of just beauty just you know tutorials and stuff like that um but as far as like other videos like lifestyle and like pranks and entertainment y'all because i love to laugh okay i'm definitely going to invite that to my channel but first i just want to get in the flow of things so yeah um definitely i want it's, it's so much i want to do i'm not even going to get into the details i don't want to ruin the surprises but um I don't know see because that's also another thing like if i was to just solely in the beginning focus on beauty and then try to like expand i feel like that may throw some people off so i might just get in the hang of beauty and then like and just be posting like hella content about it and then from there um just like hurry up and get into everything else that i want to like at least start doing something but this hair is coming along so perfectly, y'all. I did cut some layers into it. Um, I just love to frame my face. Like, that, like, I don't know. When you're doing a wig install, it's so important to make sure that it's looking as natural. You feel me? Like, it, it just needs to give. I mean, you know, it has to give. And I just like for mine to look as natural as possible. So, yeah, I was not about to go to school with these straight backs. Y'all see my wig slide off. Like, it literally came. Like, no cap, before I even started the video, I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, I know I'm about to get in the shower. It ain't going to move too much. It might move up a little bit. I'm going to be straight, though. Like, it ain't going to come all the way off on the camera. Girl. Yo, why, would, why did it come all the way off? I was, I'm not going to lie. Y'all was not ready for that. But that's a better better example and so other than that y'all I am very excited about YouTube uh, because one thing about me I'm a very like that's a sign type of person and I feel like I'm like a lot of the stuff that happens in my life is a sign so like whether it's to keep going or to maybe reconsider or to like completely just stop and discontinue abort mission okay but um like i've been for a year like for some years i've been like oh, i want to be an influence i want to be an influencer i want to do youtube and do this and do that and um so I just finally posted yesterday morning and then I posted a TikTok short today like while I was at work um but I posted it like of course on YouTube on the little shorts thing and y'all that video and I was not even expecting that video out of all of them it's always like that that video hit 1,000 up to it's probably at 1,000 by now by the time I post this one but Y'all, it's literally at 1,000. Y'all just don't understand how good I feel because, like, this is coming from somebody who was so, um, what's that word? Intimidated. I was so intimidated by, like, the editing and the background and all of this unnecessary BS just for me to just, like, I don't know. It really just came together i'm really excited i'm so excited and i feel like that was my first short my second video i posted and i just feel like that's god's way of telling me like keep going i got you all you gotta do is put the effort in and i will take care of the rest and like it's always been like that and i'm not even a religious person like I just love God like I have a great relationship with him and that's just something that I believe in he's always shown me that like there's been so many things that y'all that I've done that's just been like super wild like 
and I just, you feel me, just went and did it. And sometimes I will fall on my face and get a smack on the wrist and learn the consequences. But even in those moments, God was always with me. Like, I learned something out of that. Like, something that I'll never forget. Y'all, another really quick, when you're flat ironing your hair, please, like, get, the, get this part. I hate, like, even when I used to do it myself, like, and I would see, like, pictures on the back of my head. It'd be that little wave. Like, make sure y'all get back there. Just, just think about the back of your head. Like, I think people will see the back of your head just as often as they would see the front of your head. But, yeah. I just feel like God is just like, keep going, Mr. I got you. And that's just life, y'all. Like, like I said, it's always been like that. Like, I, it's been times where I fell, but I got back up. So, I never, you don't fail in F-A-I-L in life unless you completely just give up. That's the only way you fail. Other than that, it's just a learning experience. Period. Anyway, y'all, so this is the hair. Oh, yes, yes. Don't worry, don't worry. I know it looks great. I want it to look great on you, too. I will have it for sale very soon. Don't worry, y'all. I got y'all. I'm going to make sure that y'all look in. Good. Okay, so next, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put this in a loose pony because I don't want no indents. I'm trying so hard not to sweat. I'm about to open this window. Hopefully nobody. Okay. That's done, y'all. I got to check the time. It is 5 o'clock, so I have all of 15 minutes. Again, I'm going to try to get to the baby hairs, but I don't know. We do got to get the brows done, so let's get into it. All right, y'all. So the first thing you want to do is brush out your eyebrows in the direction that the hair grows in. Um, the next thing I do is grab my dark brown eyebrow pencil and I go into outline and then shade the brow in. Um, once that's shaded in, I do the same to the other brow, but I try to make sure that the brows stay as sisters and not twins. Um, I feel like twins is just like too close to a unibrow. Anyway, next I go in with my Tarte concealer, y'all. This has become my favorite um, since like the summertime. It was neck, I mean, Too Faced Concealer was, I mean, it just had me in a headlock for so long. But the way this just goes down, the consistency, everything about it, I just love, love, love. Um, Next, you want to go ahead and blend all of that out. Y'all, I'm starting to kind of become obsessed with blending, and I think that's actually good in terms of makeup. Uh, still got work to do, but here we are, blending, blending, blending away. I'm going to go in with a dark brown uh, contour powder on my brow just to kind of, like, bring more life to them. And then I am adding a sealer. I'm using a eyelash sealer as a brow sealer. And it looks good. That's the end result. Um, I went ahead and took that scarf off. Well, that elastic band is on pretty tight. The wig is fully secured on. Y'all, I do not have time to do my baby hairs right now because I'm running behind. So I am going to leave it as is. And we're going to just go ahead and head out. See you later, lovers.